Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. Uh, the S&P 500 was down 0.2% today, uh, but we did really well. The portfolios did fantastic. As you know, uh, we have multiple pieces in the portfolio. We have our broad market piece, which includes the S&P 500, uh, but we have advanced uh, healthcare, innovative technology, clean energy, and value. So value has been underperforming. And that's an area that uh, really seems to like the vaccine news, but recently the good news hasn't driven the value up, I think because the va virus news is so negative. And so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But what we have seen so far is that when the other areas drop and they move into value, it happens so quickly, you kind of need to have a, a piece in there just in case. Um, but let me let me read you some of the returns today. I don't normally like to tell you a bunch of different returns. I find it kind of boring, uh, but these are pretty amazing. So we have three clean energy pieces. Uh, they were up 7.1, 5.4, and 3.6 today. Again, S&P 500 down 0.2. Uh, we have uh, two uh, advanced healthcare pieces. Uh, one of which I talked about yesterday was up 6.1%. Today it was up 5.1%. That's an amazing two day run. Uh, the other one was up 1%, still not bad for a down day. Uh, two innovative technology pieces uh, with uh, up 2.8 and 1.9, really uh, amazing. Cybersecurity was up 3.2, and then Apple was up 2.9. So Apple's working on a new, you know, uh, uh, car, uh, iCar, that they call it the Titanium Project. Uh, and so that's been very exciting uh, for Apple so far. Apple hasn't done that well since the end of the summer. So it's good to see it starting to participate too. It's a big piece of our portfolio. So um, altogether, unbelievable. Uh, let me show you some information just real quickly here about the clean energy. I think that you'll find interesting uh, as to why this is happening. This is one of our clean energy pieces. Uh, I call it iClean. It's with uh, BlackRock. Uh, you can see the track record is just an incredible, uh, really running. But I guess the one thing I really want to point out here is just how much the volume has picked up. If you look here since the end, uh, middle of the summer or so, uh, you see a huge volume increase versus where it was before. So really, really powerful. Uh, there's some reasons for this. Uh, essentially, um, you know, a lot of this is talked about political, oh, Biden wins, the uh, takes off. You know, Biden does have a $2 trillion plan for clean energy infrastructure build out plan. Uh, and they want to um, become carbon neutral for the US by 2050. Uh, that would be a huge deal, huge expenditure, lots of potential profits, obviously, for some of these clean energy companies. Um, but it's not just that. And, and honestly, to make that happen, they probably need to carry, uh, the Democrats probably need to win both of the uh, Senate positions in Georgia. Uh, but uh, they can still, through executive order and other issues, uh, do a lot of work for clean energy. Matter of fact, they just included some pieces into the stimulus bill that was just signed. 35, trillion, 35 billion is going to R&D. Uh, and then they extended uh, the subsidies for uh, wind and solar, which really helps. Uh, the cost of wind and solar is getting to be much lower. Uh, it can be quite competitive even without subsidies, but you add the subsidies in there, it's really going to drive uh, usage pretty quickly. But this isn't just a U.S. thing. This is an international thing. So you've got this situation where uh, the whole world is trying to become energy independent. So, for example, China wants to become net neutral by uh, 2060. And... Obviously, they do a lot of manufacturing there, and they have to bring a lot of energy in from the outside, which makes them susceptible to the cost of energy from a worldwide basis. If they can produce their own, they can control more, and everybody's looking at the same thing. And so governments are spending money here, uh, which is always a really good thing to see because they often will add on to all the other investment that's happening. So. You got another piece that's happened too is with the stay at home. And this is again, a global issue. Uh, people are now paying their own energy bill. I used to go to work uh, and my uh, utilities were included in my rent, you know, for my office uh, and the business paid for it. Now I'm home, I'm paying for it personally and it's a lot higher than it was when I was going to work. And so it makes you start thinking about putting on solar panels, you know, those types of things. So these are all drivers uh, that are driving this and it's really amazing what's happening uh, and we could just be at the infancy. Now, there's plenty of risk. We've had so much run up, uh, you know, all kinds of things can happen and we'll have to watch. Uh, but these are really exciting pieces, you know, the advanced uh, healthcare, uh, the innovative technology, and now this clean energy, those, those three pieces combined with your value and your broad indexes makes for really good returns right now. So 
Uh, let's just keep a watch, see what's going to happen. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thank you very much.